My name is Sam Brace, and I'm the Senior Director of Customer Education and Community at Cloudinary. And joining me for this walkthrough of Cloudinary's brand new generative replace feature are Aditya and Paul from our product marketing team. Guys, this seems like such an amazing feature to be able to replace something that's in an image with something else. How is this possible and why is this powerful? So when you think about complex image editing tasks like um, replacing objects in marketing imagery or even unwanted elements in user-generated content, for example, photo bombers, etc. This requires very specialized skill set and even tools. And if you want to perform this across lots sets of images, it can be extremely time-consuming. So, for example, let's say it's fall time and you want to replace any objects in your marketing or product images that don't reflect that particular theme with something that reflects the fall theme, like pumpkins, for example. With Cloudinary's generative replace transformation, customers can use generative AI to automatically replace these unwanted objects or elements in an image. Rather than masking or blurring, them, you can replace them with a desired object to ensure the visual aesthetics in that image are maintained. Where we think Cloudinary's approach is highly differentiated is the fact that it leverages programmatic URL-based approach to make these kind of changes. So essentially, with a few parameters in the URL so on the delivery side of the image, you can now apply these kind of complex image editing tasks at scale. You don't need any creative expertise. Your technical teams can simply go in and just by adding a few parameters, you can make these changes. It's truly incredible. And I think the key word that I heard you say there was scalability. And I completely mm -hmm. agree with that. Where if you have, let's say, dozens of assets that need to be analyzed, I mean, there's great creative tools out there that are employing AI, but it doesn't allow you to do it any other way than manually, where you have to say, focus on this image, focus on this fit. And now we can make sure that it's done across many assets all at once, thanks to the power of Cloudinary and our transformations that happen to be within the URLs. So I completely agree with all of the reasons for why this is special at DTF. Now, what I would love to see here is, Paul, you're always so good at showing how something is really special with your amazing demonstrations. So how is this possible with Cloudinary's various transformation capabilities? What we're seeing here, these are pretty complex things that even a really skilled, say, Photoshop artist take them a long time to do, right? So uh, we're using the example that you saw in Aditya's slides of this model. I'm in a sweatshirt and, you know, we're talking about thematic changes here. And we like the image of him, but maybe we want him in a slightly different style. So you can easily make these changes with our generative AI syntax. I think our product team has done a really great job in simplifying what this syntax looks like. And this is just from a documentation page. I want to call it out just for legibility. I mean, essentially all we need to do is take our image and then apply a from prompt and a to prompt, essentially what we want to change from to. So for this example. I'm going to use the same image. Now, this is something I just ran. What I'm changing is his shirt into a raincoat. And I'll do another example, but I just really want to show this is a real example. It looks hyper-realistic. Essentially, all we did was use the E-Gen Replace effect, which is how we call this effect. And we're saying we want to change from a shirt to a raincoat. But let's say we want to use a slightly more stylish look for this model. I could come in here and change the two prompt from a raincoat to a suit jacket. And we can see what this does for this thing. And so it's a pretty quick transition, but we can see now the model's look has completely changed. We could use this for a different type of campaign with a different look feel. These capabilities are quite powerful. Just one more quick example. One thing this can do is it can actually create very specific type of transformations and we can preserve the geometry here. So 
a lot of times what these transformations will do is they'll take whatever space they want to do the transformation, but we actually can say only change the particular pixels of the from object. So to exemplify that, I can give this the example to, and this is a real example here, to change it from a blank canvas to a Van Gogh inspired. Now the AI is smart enough to understand what that prompt is and use all of its training to produce this print. But what's great about this is that it's actually fit it into the canvas. So it's able to recognize the frame and put it in here. So there's a lot of intelligence behind here, not just in what we're painting and what we're generating, but also the ability to detect the objects. When I say turn the blank canvas into a painting that looks like a Van Gogh, it's able to actually recognize all of those aspects of the image and then paint this pixel perfect position. Truly incredible. And the example that you're giving here is so mind blowing when mm -hmm. I'm thinking about it from the cloudinary perspective, because before what we're showing here with our AI-based transformations, for me to achieve something like this, I would have had to go find a painting that would have been in the Van Gogh style in this situation. I would have had to do overlays and underlays to be able to pull this off because mm -hmm. I would have to essentially layer everything together and also understand the X and Y coordinates of where everything's going to be placing in there since none of these are exactly the same aspect ratio or width yeah. and height. So... This is making my life a lot easier yeah. and not having to do a complex set of transformations. I'm able to do essentially what I asked to do through standard prompts. 